Now, 3D is back with a bang, but for many those glasses still provide a bit of a barrier. Well, if this next team have anything to do with it, that might be all about to change. Everybody loves 3D movies. They can startle you, make you laugh, even move you to tears. But wouldn't it be great if you didn't need those ridiculous looking glasses? Here are three engineers from Russia working in Vancouver that have the answer. This is Pavel. He loves taking pictures. Today, it's a simple flower arrangement. What's unique is that he's using four cameras to capture the image. To see the object from different perspectives, to have the real depth, you need more than one. He needs depth because he wants to display his art in three dimensions. With two cameras, you can get the volume between the two views that they give you. To get more volume, you need more cameras. 3D has been around since the 1950s, and there's always been one constant. You have to wear special glasses. Pavel is working with Nikolai and Amin. Together, they form Zikotech, a company dedicated to freeing us from the tyranny of plastic glasses. The important part of our 3D display is uh, the screen. The screen is uh, it's actually our secret. For a decade, they've been developing this unique screen. Inside it, there's layer upon layer of tiny cylindrical lenses. Our screen uh, produces uh, many uh, perspectives, many views. So each view is a view to the object from different angles. And uh, when you look on our uh, screen, on our display, you will see uh, a realistic 3D image because we can see objects from different angles. Most 3D systems project two images, sending one to each eye. This is how they achieve three dimensions, but only from one angle. The person on the left side of the theatre sees exactly the same thing as the person on the right side of the theatre. Moving your head from side to side should produce a parallax effect. The monkey in the foreground and the bear in the back should appear to move in relation to one another. But with glasses-based 3D systems, that doesn't happen. That's why some people get headaches. In our display, uh, there is viewing zone. If you move yourself or your head inside this viewing zone, you will see the object, uh, the image, from different angles. And it gives you additional 3D information. As if there wasn't already enough reason not to like the glasses, studies have shown that 95% of movie theatre glasses carry bacteria. Bacteria that can cause conjunctivitis, skin infections, food poisoning, pneumonia, or even staphylococcus infections. That's right, 3D glasses can kill. This trio of engineers promises to save you from all that. This system is unique, it's uh, original, uh, but in the same time it's uh, very simple. It has special type of micro lenses uh, that do the job. The whole space is divided into tiny little segments, as many as 40 or even more, and your eyes just fill into different segments. As you move the eyes, you don't lose the segment. You go to another one, see another image, and it's the same as if you were looking at the 3D object itself. It's hard to show in two dimensions, but look closely. You see the wall behind the man. It's red, but when our camera moves to the left, the green wall obscures it. That's the parallax effect, proving it's a 3D image. But what about Pavel's lovely flower arrangement? There it is, all three dimensions of it. And thanks to the Zikotech screen, there's no need for those silly looking glasses. It certainly is a major leap forward for 3D. But visions of those 1980s glasses will linger in the memory of many for years to come.